focusing on you. Innovations in modern medicine from your team of experts at UHealth, the University of Miami Health System. When Rachel Bronstein's skin broke out in red, itchy rashes, she wanted to hide from the world. I was really at a loss, crying, taking showers, crying. My skin hurt so bad just in water. Rachel went to see UHealth dermatologist Dr. Gil Yosipovich, the director of the Miami Itch Center, who specializes in skin diseases that cause chronic itch. Large scale studies have shown that around 13% of the population suffer from chronic itch. Rachel has atopic eczema, an inflammatory skin disease causing redness, rashes, and severe itch. So the patients scratch their skin, it causes thickness of their skin. Sometimes the eczema could also look like oozing, like a wound, open wound. It can get infected with bacteria called staph. Doctor, how does this affect a person's quality of life? Itch is intensified at nighttime, so when there is a lack of sleep, it affects all the patient's quality of life. It causes also depression. Rachel tried everything she could to stop the itch. So actually the bleach baths, which were a quarter cup of bleach in a bathtub full of water for 10 minutes and then rinse off, were really the only way that I could get through the infection. Dr. Yosipovich and his team are studying the origins of chronic itch and the best treatment options for patients. In my group, I have neuroscientists that work on neural components of itch, and it's extremely important to understand because itch is transferred by nerve fibers. And by targeting the nerve fibers, we could reduce the itch intensity of different diseases. He put Rachel on a new class of drugs called biologics that block certain proteins which trigger inflammation. I thought someone put a more magic formula on my hands. It went away in one treatment. I couldn't believe it. Rachel's skin has healed and she is now able to enjoy time with her family. So there's definitely light at the end of the tunnel.